Hello, this is Pogreen FPS, and today we're going to be talking about what I use to clean and lubricate my firearms. Important for long time storage, short time storage, just overall taking the best care that I possibly can do to my firearms. Now I want to start with this. This stuff is Eliminator Bore Cleaner. Now this stuff really works. Um, I'll go into in-depth review later, but as you can see there, there are the patches. It makes it happen. It gets the copper out. It gets the residue out, and the bore is like amazingly sparkly clean. I'll show you the bore in the other video. Um, that video will pop up in the corner, wherever it may be, and it'll be an in-depth review of the Bortec Eliminator Bore Cleaner. Now, next up, all these except this one is uh, toxic. This is the only one if you swallow it, you can die. But Corrosion X is a good lubricant and a very well um, for preserving firearms and protecting them. Pretty much it's a CLP. Uh, Corrosion X is very good. Now the next oil I have here, this one is uh, environmentally safe and it's good. And that Bortec cleaner is environmentally safe as well. But it works great. All these work great. This is what I use. Um, Battleborne High Priority Oil. It's very good at lubricating. And up next here is my solvent I use. This eats through it. It takes a little time. You can get more aggressive solvents. But this one, you don't have to worry about your finish coming off as well. It's very um, good on finish and polymers. Now the Battle Born Grease. This is the grease I use. I used to use white lithium grease, but it starts to get crusty. So I switched over to this, and it's good to go. That pretty much covers what I use for my, my bore cleaner, my solvents, my greases, well, actually my grease because I only use one type of grease now, and my oils. So like I said, all but this one right here is environmentally safe. So those right there, environmentally safe. You ain't got to worry about getting them on your hands. Uh, this isn't too toxic, but I would not recommend drinking it. I wouldn't recommend drinking any of these. But all right. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. I hope this helps you pick out what you use for your firearms. Try them out. You'll probably be pretty impressed. I know I was.